I'm looking rather rough. Whoa. Hey, hey. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11, and today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I want to try some new things, guys. So, this is a get unready with me. As you can see, friends, my face is very shiny. My <gasps> matte lipstick is now shiny. <gasps> I've got panda eyes. <gasps> my hair's looking a bit of a mess. Oh, damn. I'm just ready to retire right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you my face routine and what I do with my hair before I go to bed. I'm not really going to bed now, but I'm just, you know, just getting ready to wind down. Okay, guys, so if you want to see what I do, carry on watching. Hey guys, so what I usually do is I take off my makeup first, duh, and I use the Palmer Skin Success. It is an astringent. It says deep cleansing facial astringent. One thing I will say, this stuff is very, very strong. It does the job. It gets deep down into your skin, it removes dirt and oils that soap can't reach. And it really does. Do you know what? Take these earrings off because I ain't trying to impress nobody. My hubby's seen me all jacked up, so you know, it's cool. Just put my hair out the way for a minute. So yeah, you want to get all that hair out the way for a minute. Whew! All right, so I'm just going to take a couple of these cotton pads and I'm just going to pour some of this. I'm just going to go ahead. I haven't got makeup all over my face. It's just certain patches where I have blemishes. I'll do lipstick in a minute because that takes a couple of rubs, you know. See, as you can see, yeah, all the blemishes are coming to life. I'm not going to use this to take off my mascara because that will sting. So, guys, if any of you have come across this, you know what I'm talking about. It is strong stuff. but it does the job. That's my lipstick, that was my makeup. That's the makeup, guys. It's the third wipe of these eyebrows. And guys, I'm used to this now, so my eyes are starting to sting already. Now, next for my eyes, guys, I will be using this. So this is Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. I'm looking rather rough. Whoa. <laughs> It says effectively removes waterproof mascara makeup and it's got cornflower extract now you have to shake it guys for it to be activated the reason why you have to shake it is because it's got you see it's starting to separate already so it's got a darker bit and it's got the liquid up there so i believe it's got some oil in there and do you know what guys you don't have to go out and buy these things when i run out of um, eye makeup remover a trick i use i use olive oil olive oil is really good for taking off waterproof mascara doing the job okay, so as you can see I'm starting to look a bit pasty and uh, yeah what I'm gonna go and do now is wash my face quickly and I will come back and show you the soap that I use when I wash my face so stay okay people so I'm back my face is washed you see I don't rub my face with a towel I just pat it dry so I'm still letting parts of it dry right here but my face does feel kind of tight now I've washed it and what I used to wash my face was this gel face wash from Primark and it's superfoods that's why I picked it up because it's superfoods and it's got blackberry and kale in there as you can see my kids are trying to creep up on me so anyway let's get back to it guys what I'm gonna do now as I said my face is getting a bit dry but to start clearing up these blemishes and dark patches what I'm gonna do is use a purifying facial serum and the reason why I've picked this up guys is because it's got tea tree oil in it so I use this in the morning and in the evenings I like to drop my problem areas And you don't need too many guys, three or four will do. And just rub it all in. So it's not, um, it doesn't smell like anything in particular. It's not water based and it's not oily either. Once it's rubbed into your skin, then it's, it's literally gone. Yes, I have a new, you know, guest appearance. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my evening cream. Well, it's not evening cream, it's just everyday cream. But I use it more so in the evening. I don't cream my face 
so much in the morning when I'm putting on makeup. I literally just use the serum. Now I'm gonna apply its traditional skincare cream and it's from Boots. It just reminds me of like a baby smell. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like a, some, like a baby cream, I don't know. So it looks like this. You can see guys, just white. If you are in the UK and you can get your hands on this. In fact, I think I saw a boot section in maybe Walgreens when I was in Florida. So they may have this. So if you do want to try it. So I'm just going to use about that much. And I'm not going to put it on my problem areas where I usually get spots. I'm just going to do where it's usually dry. You really don't want too much. You just want a thin layer, guys. Okay. Now my face feels moisturized. I'm just going to sit and let that do its thing. Now for my lips, guys. As I've washed my lips and I haven't put, apart from that cream, I haven't put anything else on my lips. It is colder over here now and it's, well, it's winter. Now my lips are chopping more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this Bliss X Medi Plus. I found this in Tesco's over here. And, and it smells uh, kind of medically, almost like eucalyptus and medicine, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a small amount on my lips, guys. Right, so the face is done. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna move on to my hair. And what I do with my hair in the evenings, nothing big at all. I'm literally just gonna spritz it. And this is part water, half water and half Apogee Pro Vitamin A, I believe it was, leave-in conditioner. And I'm just gonna spritz the ends. I'm not going to spritz my scalp. I spritz my scalp in the morning to moisturise my hair, but for now I'm just spritzing the ends. Just so you know, they can get that goodness because they are the oldest parts, as many people say. Okay, so that feels like it's the ends are spritzed enough. Now what I'm gonna do this olive oil that I have. I've shown it to you in my last video, guys, and I got it from Asda. It's Sun Sera olive oil, and as I said, guys, it smells gorgeous. And I'm just gonna put it on the ends of my hair, and any excess, I'll just rub it throughout. But that is pretty much it. Now, guys, if you watched my previous video on five reasons why your hair is thinning. One of the reasons I mentioned was doing your hair in the same routine, basically doing it the same way all the time. So what I'm gonna, what I've stopped doing now, I've stopped pineappling my hair so much at night. I will put my hair up in a bun, but it won't be on top of my head. So when I'm lying down, I'll have my bonnet on, but the back of my hair where it was thin, it won't be rubbing. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my hair, and it also, this just stretches my hair more than having it up in a pineapple because I want my fringe stretched. That's the way to do it. Because now my hair's being pulled back here. So this is my fringe being pulled back. So when I take it out in the morning, it will be elongated. If I was to have my hair up in a pineapple, it would just be the back that's stretched out. So I want today, I want to have the majority of my front of my hair stretched out. I've got the hair tie. I'm just gonna put it in once. So I'm not gonna wrap it around. I'm literally just gonna do once and then I'm gonna put it in a bun like that just to protect my ends so when I do put on my bonnet I'm not lying as I said I'm not lying on that part of my hair I'll be lying on this bun my ends are protected and I'm all done <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for coming by and having a look and see what I do to get ready to wind down this is my nighttime routine but this is more so before you know just chilling in the evenings i just want to chill i'm not going to bed yet anyway guys thank you for watching i will see you on saturday and i've got a really good video coming up i'm so excited to do this video guys so please subscribe and like and give me a thumbs up i'm so so excited to do this video and i hope you're gonna like it guys so thank you for watching and i will see you on saturday bye